Okay, uh, today's lesson is about uh, cross product of two vectors. So, if you have two vectors, let's say vector A, and then another vector, vector B, and if the angle between these two vectors is theta, uh, cross product of two vectors, first of all, the notation we use is A, and this is the sign for cross product a cross b is equal to a vector c so unlike dot product which the outcome is a scalar the outcome of a cross product is a vector so this vector c has a magnitude the magnitude of this vector c is equal to the magnitude of a equal uh, times the magnitude of b meaning the length of a times length of b times the sine of the angle between the two vectors so this is the magnitude of this vector, which is the cross product of A and B. And then the direction of this cross product of this vector C, which is the outcome of A cross B, is a vector which is actually both perpendicular to A and B. So it would be a vector which is 90 degrees to A and 90 degrees, 90 degrees to A and 90 degrees to B. And why is the C in that direction? Its sense is determined by the right-hand rule. Uh, and uh, basically, what we have to understand that is that the cross product, uh, the order is important. So A cross B is equal to C, but if you try to find B cross A, the outcome is negative of what you're supposed to what you would get if you do A cross B. So the order is important. Now let's go to the next page and talk about the cross product of uh, unit vectors such as I and J. So let's say if you want to find I cross I. So remember, based on the definition, the magnitude of I is 1 times the magnitude of I is 1 times the sine of the angle between I and I, but the angle between I and I is 0. So I cross I is zero. Similarly, you could say j cross j is zero and k cross k is zero. See, this is unlike the dot product where i, I dot i was equal to one or j dot j was equal to one and so on. So what about i cross j? Now i cross j, the magnitude is one, the magnitude of i is one, the magnitude of j is one, the angle between i and j is 90 degrees, so 990 is, sine 90 is one, so we get one times one times one, that's equal to one. So i cross j is equal to one, the magnitude is one, but actually it has to be a vector that is both perpendicular to i and j, and that would be k. So let me show you an easy way that you could find uh, i, uh, you know, the cross product of to dissimilar unit vectors. So write i, j, k twice, the same line. And then if you do i cross j, the outcome is k. If you do j cross k, the outcome is i, is what comes next. But in the other, the other way, if you go the other direction, you're forced to go the other direction. So if you do k cross j, the outcome is negative i. So like j cross k is equal to i but if you do j cross i like you have to go from j toward i going in this direction the outcome becomes negative k what comes after that 